Kettle in the shotgun, sends two in motion. Fakes the handoff, and wide open in there for the score goes Gary Kettle. And Gigi was standing there just to olay him into the end zone. Nothing but green grass in front of Garrett Kettle that time. The Wranglers improved to 5-2 and two in an epic battle inside the Finley Tour Center tonight and gained sole possession of first place in the IFL Western Conference. It was a great matchup, and it really came down to who had the ball last. It did, James. Both teams won in first place. They wanted this victory as bad as they could ever want it. But it came down to Garrett Kettle getting a touchdown toward the end of the game, Brandon Fisher with the extra point, and the field goal kicker Aiden Johnson for Bay Area was not able to kick what could have been potentially a game-winning field goal for them, but defense came up strong for both teams. This was an excellent football game. Both teams went back and forth with scores, defense, as you see, 35-34. It was a hard-earned victory for the Northern Arizona Wranglers. Give Bay Area credit. They fought their guts out, but the Northern Arizona Wranglers also fought their guts out. Somebody had to win, somebody had to lose, but fortunately for the Wranglers, they won their 5-2 and two in sole possession of first place, as JP mentioned. You know, Ed, we talk about it every single week, all three phases of the game, and the Wranglers had all three phases really clicking here tonight. The offense was outstanding, no turnovers, the defense was maniacal all night long, and then the special teams came to play as well. Brandon Fisher was great, and then the special teams shutting down that field goal attempt there at the end of the game for the right. Bay Area Panthers. Right, in order to beat Bay Area, all three phases had to be in perfect harmony, and they were. It wasn't perfect, you know, it, it's the course of a football game. Things are going to go up, things are going to go down. But when it came down to it, at the end of 60 minutes, those Wranglers came out on top by one, five and two on the season. Garrett Kettle, 13 of 23, three touchdowns. As JP mentioned, no turnovers. That was huge in a game of this magnitude, a game this big, when they're fighting for first place in the Western Conference. For them to go to five and two and not turn the ball over once. And Daniel Wright gets inter an interception on Dalton Sneed. That's huge, that's big for the Wranglers to pull out a victory this big and this important. Second week in a row with no turnovers for your Northern Arizona Wranglers and now the journey continues. Doesn't get any easier. Next week we head down to Phoenix to the Footprint Center to battle those Arizona Rattlers, another big Western Conference matchup. That'll be a big one. JP and I will be down there broadcasting pre-game, halftime and post-game from what's gonna be a big, a huge football game, a fun football game at Footprint Center because we know what happened the last time we were there in the Western Conference Championship. So I expect that game to be just as good as this one. It'll be a great time. We're excited to bring it to you. You know where to find us, the Northern Arizona Wranglers YouTube channel for the pregame show. That'll kick off at 5.40 p.m. next Saturday night inside the Footprint Center in Phoenix, Arizona. Join us, your 5-2 Wranglers against the Arizona Rattlers. Go Wranglers!